here today. It, it really is. Um, and it's humbling uh, to receive the Sister Cities International Diplomatic Leadership Award. Thank you so much for this recognition. And it really does mean a lot. So thank you, Tim, and, and both of you, actually, Mrs. King. It's great to be here in the United States Diplomacy Center with all of you this afternoon. This is so exciting to be making history. Um, I had a chance to take a tour of some of the uh, exhibits upstairs, and I encourage you all to kind of take a look at what's up there. It, it's really amazing. But you're doing a wonderful job of showing why American diplomacy matters, and it does matter. Sister Cities International knows all about the role of American diplomacy and has a very special place in my heart that I want to tell you a little bit about. You have been helping to build better and stronger relationships between cities, states, and countries for a very long time. In fact, you celebrated, well, they said 60 years. Yeah, 60 years. So, and, and I agree, that's a, that's a wonderful age, 60. <laughs> um, but it's no surprise that Sister Cities is still going so strong. Uh, you serve an important purpose of renewing and strengthening global relationships. And I'm thankful to President Dwight D. Eisenhower for his vision to create Sister Cities International at the 1956 White House Summit on Citizen Diplomacy. But throughout the years, you've stayed committed to your mission which, as you know, is to promote peace through mutual respect, understanding, and cooperation. One individual, one community at a time. And one of the ways you do this is by providing opportunities for cultural and educational exchanges, something I know about firsthand. When I was the First Lady of Indiana, as part of our effort to build and strengthen Indiana's international relationships through cultural ties, we initiated several cultural and educational exchanges. As you heard, I was an art teacher for 25 years, and I worked at elementary schools in Indiana and Northern Virginia. And so I thought art exchanges with children would be a great way to tie two cultures together. So with support from Sister Cities International, I did my first art exchange in 2013 between third grade students in Lafayette, Indiana and its Japanese sister city, Ota City. And this was especially meaningful to me because my sister had been a high school exchange student in Ota many years before. So I actually was able to meet with her Japanese father at the school, and he shared a scrapbook with me that had pictures of my sister. But the art exchange was such a fun project. Uh, Charlotte actually helped me teach this. Uh, it was a lot of fun. So I asked the third graders in Lafayette, Indiana, to draw self-portraits. I'm going to show you a picture here. This is what they look like. So they had to draw. This is my own. <laughs> I do watercolors much better, okay. <laughs> um, but they had to draw self-portraits based on the theme, me seeing my favorite thing. So they're like wearing those reflective sunglasses, okay? So when I traveled to Japan, I actually took and shared all of the Lafayette students' artwork with the third grade students at Ota Elementary School. Then I asked the students in Japan to draw self-portraits with the same theme, and after returning to the United States, we delivered the Japanese artwork to the students in Lafayette to complete the exchange. Our goal to connect people from different backgrounds didn't stop there, though. During another overseas trip, I completed an art exchange between students in Columbus, Indiana, and its sister city, Miyoshi City, Japan. There, the students recited a Japanese play for me. Now, stay with me here. I was so impressed that they all stood up and recited for me. I said, you know what? I would like to perform for you. So I decided to sing a Japanese song that my sister had taught me years earlier. 
joining in with me and it's those kind of magical moments that I know you all have your own stories that you could share and then I traveled to Germany as first lady and I took a small replica of a popular piece of art in Indianapolis and it's actually um, you probably have seen it it's the Robert Indiana love statue the four letters L-O-V-E but I took it to the Museum of Art in the Museum Ludwig in Cologne Indianapolis's sister city. Uh, Museum Ludwig has such a large collection of American contemporary artists, and I was really excited to recognize our friendship with Germany by giving them a piece of Indiana. On the same trip, I also took a banner made by students in Columbus, Indiana, and delivered it to a school in their sister city of Lernet, Germany. And it was such a privilege to continue an ongoing exchange of culture and understanding between cities in the United States. I've got to tell you, it was, that was probably one of my favorite experiences because here I was sitting in a room with all of these people from Germany and they were talking to me about all these people in Columbus, Indiana, which is the vice president's hometown. And they would say, oh, well, you know, so-and-so and so-and-so. Well, no, we live with so-and-so when we visit. And we, our kids did this. And we went to this school, and, you know, this little local vendor. And it was absolutely so meaningful to me to see people who really understood our little small town. In China, I visited the Hangzhou Public Library, located in Hangzhou, the capital of Indiana's sister state, uh, sister state Xijing province. There, I presented Hoosier literature from the Indianapolis Public Library and music recordings of the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra to library officials. 